Hi friends, happy Thursday. It is the Tricks and Treats Halloween Spectacular over here at Chateau LeMay. I hope you grab your magnesium mocktail. Hey Heather, hi guys. Grab your magnesium mocktail, grab your bunny slippers. Um, it is the cleanest night of the week. Hey Holly, hey mom, hey Wendy. Everybody's here, Lindsay's here, Maria. Hello, hi Ashby. Heather, Mom, Michelle, Michelle, I hope you're feeling better. Maggie's here, Lisa, and Stephanie, everybody's here. It is a party. We're in the Boss Babe headquarters tonight for the cleanest night of the week. I'm so excited to see all of you. Grab those bunny slippers, get the mocktails, get your jammies on. I hope you are ready for Halloween. Lilia and Joe, hello guys. I'm so excited to see you. I wish you could all be with me. Dr. Laura, I wish you could all be here with me in the Boss Babe headquarters. <laughs> oh no, Stephanie, go charge your phone. But uh, if you are joining me for the first time tonight, my name is Hilary LeMay and I don't always wear Halloween inspired attire, but I am festive and I love an opportunity to just be festive and I love to rap. You never know when I'm gonna rap. <laughs> Hi Beth. So you have to stay on your toes because I am a lyrical gangster and you just never know when I might need to break out some rhymes. And my name is Hilary LeMay, like I mentioned, and I am an essential oil educator and global team leader with doTERRA International. Hi Effie, oh thank you Renee. <laughs> I'm so excited you're here too, Lilia. And I lead my team from all over the world um, directly here in the Boss Babe headquarters. So I love sharing this wellness lifestyle with you. I love bringing these beautiful oils into everyone's home and showing you how to use them really well and efficiently and easy. Uh, and we're sharing this wellness lifestyle, so if you would like to swipe to the right or up, you can share this broadcast with your friends and followers. You can tap the screen as many times as you want to show me love, and there's lots of orange hearts, so that's kind of fun. And um, you can, if you missed anything, you can always catch up on YouTube or anything like that. You can also uh, always check in with me on Facebook. If you wanna connect there, we can, um, I can pop you into a public learning group that I share there with people from all different groups. So if you're enrolled by someone else, you're totally welcome to join. There's thousands of people there and we just all share our essential knowledge and education and uh, resources. Stephanie, of course they're houndstooth. I love me a good pattern. Um, and you are a quilter, so I know that you totally appreciate that. Hey, Bethany. And oh, hey, Shannon, everybody's here. It is a party. It's a early Halloween party because I don't like to be late. I like to be early. So, um, but every week I just create this safe space for you to interact with me. You can ask questions. Like I said, if you miss anything, you can always go back to my YouTube channel and catch any of those items. Um, but if you wanna be uh, added to the Facebook group, it's a public learning group, but I believe it's private. You might not be able to search and find it. So if you just send me a little message on Facebook and send me a friend request, I can pop you in there and you can see all my recipes that I've ever shared on Periscope and whatnot and beyond. Um, and this is a follow-up to my top 10 10 essential oil hacks of 2016 because it's 2017 and I'm breaking it on down. So you can join the dialogue with me, ask questions. We're gonna have a great time. We are label reading gangsters, and it means we're taking a proactive approach to our wellness. And the products that we use, we wanna work toward improving our sleep, improving our emotional balance, our energy level, our stress level, all of these things. And it can be very overwhelming. And so tonight's a little Halloween tricks and treats for you, counting down, like I mentioned, my latest top 10 oil hacks of 2017 so that uh, you are in for a treat. This will help you enjoy your oil life more efficiently. It'll help you enjoy sharing this wellness lifestyle with your friends and family. And um, it is just a Halloween spooktacular. So in a little while, I'm gonna show you some treats um, that we share with, uh, with our community and our neighbors and friends and Olivia's classroom instead of candy because there are lots of options that you could share that are non-food treats that don't um, make a label reading gangster go wah, 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 kick it to the curb, right? So, um, and so we're gonna do that in a little while. So um, I wanted to just share with you, this is my 121st Periscope. So again, if you've missed anything, you will have a lot of work to do. Go into YouTube, catch up. Um, everything's archived there so you don't have to worry about missing anything. So definitely go and watch the top 10 from last year if you have not watched that yet because I think it's gonna be a really great just uh, continuation of all these great essential oil life hacks. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, I would love to demo them on Periscope in the future. I would love to share them with all of you and just share that wellness lifestyle with everybody. So um, the first one is number 10. Number 10 is inspired 
by Bethany Sweet, and this is making sure that you label the back of your cleaning supplies with uh, a little piece of paper and packing tape so that if you have friends over or if you have a cleaning helper um, or with your kiddos, they can help you and you won't have to go searching for your recipes. Oh, thanks, Ashby. Yes, this is uh, Zoya Raven because she's perfect for Halloween and Olivia's birthday is on Saturday, so we are gonna have a fabulous Halloween party at Chateau LeMay, so it's totally appropriate. But this is number 10. And also, oh yeah, if you're not familiar with Zoya, it's a non-toxic nail polish. It is amazing, so you're gonna wanna grab some of these. Uh, it's, it's a great way to just kick chemicals to the curb one step at a time, and that is so many different elements. Elements. Yes, so and all my recipes are on my YouTube channel and in the Periscope, Periscope uh, in the Facebook group and you can always catch up on anything you might have missed. So all my recipes are there in the cloud. Hey Anna! So this is number 10 and it's just simple. It's making sure that you have your recipes taped to your sprays, your cleaning sprays. This is my glass cleaner and so I have the uh, recipe on the back. It's just half vinegar or peroxide and half water and then two drops per ounce of uh, lemon and so this is a 16 ounce bottle so then we would add two drops per ounce so that'd be 32 ounces so that way and this is such a awesome life hack so Bethany thank you for submitting that to me um, it's a great way for you to keep all of your cleaning supplies nice and labeled so you don't have any excuses this is my all-purpose cleaner as well so um, you don't have any excuses about having to dig up the recipes or oh I don't know where she put that I can't find Hillary's recipe how do I refill this so this is just gonna really help make life easier for you to enjoy this oily life even more efficiently than you might have been before. Now, speaking of streamlining cleaning, because we all know that I uh, I love a clean house, okay? And um, I like to keep things efficient when I'm doing that. I don't wanna be spending all of my time cleaning. I wanna be spending my time enjoying my life and just living and enjoying time with friends and family. Okay, and so along those same lines, I love to keep extra cleaning supplies under the sinks in all of my bathrooms. This is like a big behemoth, it's almost my size. Okay, but this goes underneath the sink in all of our bathrooms. So upstairs underneath Olivia's bathroom, underneath our bathroom, underneath the guest bathroom, and then underneath the sink in the kitchen. We have a powder room in the living room area, but there's no vanity under there. So when we get some sort of furniture piece to go in the corner of that room, we will definitely be having some sort of organizational system. But this way you can keep your all-purpose cleaner, your glass cleaner, you can keep extra foaming hand wash so that you can refill your foaming hand wash uh, pump at the sink. And it also uh, includes the cleaner concentrate. So if you need to clean tubs or tiles or sinks or anything like that. Also my toilet cleaner. Um, of course, because I am a cleaning gangster, I have my ginormous uh, squeegee and it has a little thingy on the other side. So you've got this and then I can just clean you all off, all those chemicals to the curb, make you so nice and clean, and then, ooh, right? So <laughs> I like to keep this in there. I also like to keep microfiber pads because these are way more economical than paper towels. And actually I've found paper towels do not do a great job of cleaning glass surfaces because they leave little shards behind, number one. And number two, they are not that absorbent. So what I like to do is grab these microfiber cloths from Lowe's or Home Depot because George is always there. It's probably like at least two times a day he's at Lowe's or Home Depot. And these are actually meant for cleaning um, glass and granite and stuff. So they have these little uh, really nice quilted fabrics. Yes, love the squeegee, Beth. I just need to squeegee you guys one more time. Make sure that you're super clean, no chemicals here. And then dry you off. Perfect. So we <laughs> we want to have nice clean glass, right? So I love these little quilted microfiber cloths, and um, you can also get different versions. You can also get the cheapy ones from the dollar store. It's whatever you want to use. But I like to clean all, keep all of my cleaning supplies in their own little organizational setup underneath the sinks in all my bathrooms because this way I don't have to run up and down the stairs, go all the way down the hallway, and Olivia's room is a Jack and Jill bathroom so it connects the workout room and her bedroom. So there's no door to the bathroom in that um, on that hallway. So you either have to go in from Olivia's bedroom or go in from the fitness room. So what I like to do is make sure that I can wipe down the sinks after we brush our teeth, after we get ready in the morning, and then before bed after we've done our face routine and brushed our teeth and gotten ready 
for bed, then I can wipe down the counters, and I just like that. I just, I wanna, I, I, I find that it is less time to keep everything clean and tidy if you just stay on top of it. And I know that might seem like a lot of work, but it's really not. You just swipe it and nothing has caked on, nothing has dried on there, and you just, you know, you can use your microfiber cloth a couple times before you wash it, and then when it's ready to be washed, you can get one of those little mesh lingerie bags or delicate bags from the dollar store and just pop all of them in to the laundry at one time. So on cleaning day, all of your microfiber cloths, you can wash them all at once. So um, that's another one that I just love and it's a huge time saver. You can get these caddies anywhere, the dollar store, Lowe's, Home Depot, you name it, anywhere. Um, number th number So that was number 10 was the labels, number nine was the cleaning caddies under each of your sinks wherever you are gonna be doing your cleaning. Number eight is, speaking of convenience, diffuser blends are a total lifesaver. Uh, Michelle says she uses the shower spray and spray after each shower. It makes the weekly cleanup so much easier, absolutely. And we have a peroxide and melaleuca and lemon and eucalyptus shower spray that we will spray the tiles down afterward and squeegee and then we always turn the fan on. You wanna turn the fan on right after your bath or shower because that way it's gonna help draw out the moisture from the tiles and grout and you're not gonna get as much mildew as you would if you just let the water pool and that's why we also so keep uh, the squeegees in our shower. There's one we have in our shower that's got like a little suction. And what you can do is just squeegee all the water off. I'm gonna squeegee you guys one more time Mwah, because it's just so fun to do that. Um, so you can just go through your shower after each shower and squeegee it down. And if you have doors, like we have glass doors for our shower, leave the door propped open while you have the fan running and then it won't mildew and it's just gonna be so much easier for you. You're not gonna have to just get in there with your toothbrush and peroxide and grout cleaner. It's just gonna save, your, save a lot of time. Time. But number eight, speaking of diffuser blends and just making life easy, I love to share this DIY diffuser bar. And this is such an easy button for me in the morning, in the afternoon, at nighttime, all the time. And so what this is, if you can see it, this is my DIY diffuser bar and I've got some of my master blends that I use every single day. So this one is Chateau Le May. Um, actually, this is on the wrong side because I want to do that like that. So this is Wake Up and this is the Wild Orange and Peppermint together. It's just solid oil, straight oil, half wild orange, half peppermint because I just like it that way and I found it's easier to keep up my blends. But it is such an easy button. It is one of my favorite life hacks and that's why it made it into the top 10 of 2017 because um, these are my most used blends and I keep this upstairs in my hallway so that all the hall area can be infused with the lovely aroma of whatever blends that I wanna use throughout the day. And um, the dropper bottles really are, Lindsay. It's like, it's just t a total game changer. And so wake up is what I'll diffuse in the morning and then I like to diffuse Chateau Le May, which is uh, the lemon, peppermint, and eucalyptus. And I just like that as my signature house smell. It's very fresh and it's very unisex. Um, it's not too sweet. It's not too overpowering. It's just fantastic. And then Good Vibes is the Anthropology blend. And this is Siberian Fir and Citrus Bliss. Um, and it is just phenomenal and grapefruit and it just smells so fresh and so mellow and so chill. And if you still have white fur left, you can use white fur. If you don't, you can use Siberian fur. You can also add a little bit of um, Douglas fur to get that more of a white fur smell. Um, Lilia said it was incredible to be able to stay in my home and pick my blends to, her blends to diffuse. Oh, I'm so glad you came to visit. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you come back to the, to the chateau very, very soon and you can pick whatever blends you want. Um, and then lastly, the Sweet Dreams blend, which is Olivia's Oasis. So this has patchouli and juniper berry for Sweet Dreams and wild orange and on guard and breathe um, and cedar wood. And it is just such a great blend that we love to diffuse all throughout the house. So when friends come like Lilia and her family stayed with us um, last month, when they came, she can just go right into the diffuser bar area and pick what she wants to diffuse in the guest room. And we have a diffuser in the guest room, of course, because I want all of my company to feel like they're at home and you know, when they have oils at home, I want them to feel like they're at home too. So this is just really fantastic. It makes it so quick and simple for you to enjoy your oils because if you have to go all the way upstairs and down the hall and turn the, to the other side, um, they are absolutely, yep. All the recipes are on my Instagram. These are from Amazon, Stephanie, uh, all the dropper bottles, but you know what you can do, which is another cool life hack. You can reuse empty uh, oil bottles. So if you have an empty bottle of wild orange or an empty bottle of peppermint, you can just fill it halfway with 
both wild orange and peppermint and reuse that essential oil bottle. You don't have to use a dropper if you don't want to, but I just love this and I find that I use my oils so much more when I make it a point to make it simple for myself. Like I said, if I had to go all the way upstairs, down the hall, turn to this side and go in that room <clears throat> to diffuse my oils, I might not do it. And yeah, you can totally use all of those empties. So this is just such an awesome life hack. And then uh, number seven, along similar lines of how do you figure out what diffuser blends you want. So I've been oiling since 2014. I love experimenting. I love playing around with different combinations of oils. And I always encourage you, even though these are the blends that I love, I encourage you to figure that out on your own. And one simple way to do that, thanks to Leilani, is to take your bottles, and you can even take empties so you're not wasting anything whatsoever. These are my three favorites, eucalyptus, peppermint, and lemon that I use to make the Chateau LeMay blend. And all you do is take the caps off of the oils because there is some oil residue. Uh, Priscilla says she needs tips for empty bottles. This is a great one. Uh, all you do is take the caps off because these caps have residual oil in there and so all you do is just put these under your sniffer and get a whiff and see if you like what you smell what do you think periscope world do you like it give me a heart if you like lemon peppermint and eucalyptus together you're getting very invigorated <laughs> but it smells so amazing and you can smell what that combination smells like without wasting a drop, without making a mess. You can use your empty bottles if you wanna experiment and play around with a couple things or maybe if you see me making a blend and you're like, hmm, I don't know, Hillary's kind of kooky. I don't know what she's blending up with those combinations of oils and then you're like, all right, maybe let me check it out. And then next thing you know, you're diffusing Chateau Lemay blend all day, every day because it smells amazing. And that's all you have to do and you can get the same effect as if you made a blend and this way you're not wasting anything and you can use your empty bottles like these are just empty bottles that I have saved for some awesome projects later on in the season but you're not wasting anything and um, and it's just a great way to experiment and try new things because <clears throat> that's what it's all about just trying trying new things um, so smart I've learned the hard way and made a big bottle of something and didn't like it yeah um, in the diffuser um, Holly that's a very interesting question I am a little heavy handed when it comes to the, the diffuser because I think when you start diffusing the same blends each day, you get a little nose blind. So, oh Olivia, I'm so glad you love Chateau LeMay. It is such an awesome combo. Um, you get a little nose blind. You know, like um, friends will come over and they'll be like, oh my God, I love the smell. What does it smell like? Or neighbors or people that don't oil. Um, we've had a lot of contractors in because when you build a new home, you have a punch list that goes for months and months and months. There's people coming in to fix the fireplace, people coming in to give me brand new doors because something got messed up people pick fixing trim here and paint there and drywall there and all that and so there's lots of people coming in and out of the house that are like wow what does that smell it smells great and I'm like I don't smell a thing like I you know after a while you might not really smell and so that's why it's nice to switch it up throughout the day in the morning you might have your wake up blends later on in the day you kind of switch it up a little notch and um, so I just love to just kind of keep it fresh, really. Um, but so how many drops is really the question that Holly was asking. I always recommend that you start with three. Just start with three, start small, and that way you're not wasting anything. Exactly, Lindsay. You don't want to waste oil. You don't want to... Um just maybe have an oil turn you off if you're really not into it. So by starting with just three drops per oil that you're using, so three drops of lemon, three drops of peppermint, three drops of eucalyptus, and you can see how you like that combination. And you can certainly do one drop of peppermint, three drops of lemon if you like, because mint is very, it can be very overpowering, but I like the invigorating vibe of it in the afternoon and in my workspace. So I just encourage you to play around with it, but I probably use about maybe five to seven drops per oil. When you're actually doing it in the dropper, it's a little bit more because each drop is infused with a third of each of the oils. So, you know, I would say I would do maybe a half a dropper um, if I really just wanted to set the diffuser for the whole day and just leave it. So it's totally up to you. I just encourage you to experiment. Less is more. Um, I've been oiling for a while, so I, pre I feel pretty confident in the way that I diffuse, but I just encourage you to try it out and you'll have to let me know what you think. So the next one is number six, and this is a new fan favorite, and this is Frank & Co. To Go. Okay, so what is Frank & Co.? Frank & Co. Paiva are two of my new main squeezes, and they actually match my outfit, so that's pretty cute too. Um, and 
Franken Copaiba is something that I've started doing before my periscopes, before I go live to teach team trainings, before I'm gonna do anything anxiety provoking because y'all are awesome and you're amazing, but this mama gets nervous and I wanna make sure that I'm delivering quality content to you and I wanna make sure that I am my best self to share this information and this wellness lifestyle with you. So I love to incorporate my, yeah, it's a podcast ritual now on the Two Curls on Oil podcast, Dr. Laura is right. And so I love to incorporate this into my daily routine. I will put a drop or two of each frankincense and copaiba under my tongue in the morning and under my tongue before bedtime. And especially, oh, thanks so much. Um, oh, let's see. Nat Blash is saying she started this because of your suggestion. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes. And this is just so great. And it just dials down that those anxious feelings. It helps you feel confident and assured. And it just makes you feel like, you know what? You can do it and it's okay. And it's, it's, it's okay. And it's manageable. So whatever you're going through, if you're going through some emotional turmoil right now, or if you're going through a hard time, or if you just feel like you're under the gun with a clock and the time is ticking and you have so many things on your to-do list at the end of the day, and you got to get dinner on the table and dishes done and laundry done and all these things going on in your life, frankincense and copaiba is an amazing combination to use for emotional support. These oils are also great for so many other things and I definitely encourage you to check out some of my previous posts on these two oils and this, um, what we're actually doing. Uh, Shannon, definitely, you're gonna love copaiba. It's also great for inflammation and pain. It's fantastic. But what the life hack is, is Frankenco to go because I know for me, I am not going to leave the house with a full bottle of frankincense. Um, this is a very, very uh, expensive oil. It is a highly valued oil. It is one of the most precious oils that doTERRA offers. And because of that, I don't want to leave home uh, with my full size bottle because if something happened to this bottle, I would be very sad. Um, and the same goes for Copaiba, especially because it's on back order right now until probably sometime either this weekend or next week. But what I do instead is I use this teeny tiny cutie baby dropper and I put half frankincense and half Copaiba. And that way I have a Frankenco a to go. Mm. And I just put it under my tongue and it just helps center me and focus me and allow me to get through the toughest parts of my day and the toughest parts of mommy life when I need a little boost and this oil is great for head tension. It's great for muscle pain and soreness. You can apply it topically. You can take it internally. However, I cannot uh, speak more highly of doTERRA's purity standards, but I would not ever, ever recommend that you take oils internally that are not doTERRA. I cannot speak to them. I am only educating you on what we do in our home with doTERRA. So if you are using another brand of oils, I do not recommend that you take them internally. Um, I would especially recommend that you read the label because on the labels of each of these bottles that are available to be used internally, it says essential oil supplement. That's how you know it's safe for internal use. So that is number six, Frankenco to go. Uh, no supplement fact, no way. Dr. Laura, you are more truer than true. So Frank and Co to go. The next one is number five, and this is making blends that contain fractionated coconut oil. Um, let's see. You have so many supplies. Have you ever shared your organization oily supplies? I have, yes. Definitely check out my YouTube archive. Definitely check out my Instagram or connect with me on Facebook and we will get you all caught up on the amazing oily ways of my toil and trouble, bubble, bubble, bubble of, of all of our good oily fun. So the next one is um, how that we can use essential oil blends from doTERRA that have fractionated coconut oil in them um, without making a roller because it's already diluted with fractionated coconut oil, okay? And so what we can do is we can actually turn any essential oil bottle, whether it has fractionated coconut oil or not, into a roller. If we run out of rollers, if we just love the way the bottle looks and we're sharing oils with friends or something like that, um, this is Balance, and Balance is a blend that we don't ever wanna diffuse because it'll break our machines, and I did a whole Periscope on that, so hashtag, there's a scope for that. Uh, you can catch up to, um, to get all the deets on that, but this blend has fractionated coconut oil, and so we don't wanna diffuse it, we just wanna use it topically. And so I get these little stainless steel roller balls that fit onto 15 milliliter bottles as well as five Five milliliter bottles they both fit equally so this is a bottle of frankincense okay 
and this is empty. So what I would do is put some frankincense in here and then I'd fill it with fractionated coconut oil and then you have your own little mini roller and you're all good to go. And so you don't have to uh, take that extra step of making a roller if you don't want to. And I love making rollers. It's one of my favorite things and a great way to save money, but it's also a great reminder that if you have a roller ball on your bottle of frankincense, on your bottle of passion or whisper or the yoga oils that have fractionated coconut oil, you won't make the mistake of using it in your diffuser inadvertently. So this is number Number five, making oil blends that contain fractionated coconut oil into makeshift amazing rollers straight from the bottle. Pop on a stainless steel roller bottle from gotoilsupplies.com and you are good to go. And this is another oil life hack submitted by Bethany. So Bethany Sweet, if you are still out there, thank you a million times over. Go follow her on Periscope and Instagram. She shares tons of awesome oily life hacks as well. And she is one of my cross line fellow boss babes and I love her to pieces. Stand by, I'm gonna take a sip of my magnesium mocktail. I hope you do the same. Number four is, oh, Bethany is still there, yay. Thank you so much, my dear. The next one is number four, and this is my hydration station in the kitchen, which is also a game changer. And it's a little heavy, so I'm gonna grab it to go. All right, so here we have, this is from Shades of Stone. Voila, it's so gorge. I mean, this is like beautiful onyx stone and it is a perfect size for our oil bottles and it also fits the five milliliter bottles and 15 milliliter bottles and um, it looks pretty it's functional and what I love to do is I use oils in my water every day I use oils in my magnesium mocktails every day I use oils in my hot tea at night I love to use oils in every element of my lifestyle, as you know if you've ever walked into my home because oils and diffusers are pretty much covering every surface area of Chateau Limit. But what I love to do is have this out on the counter because again, if we make our diffusers abundant all throughout our home, if we make diffuser blends super easy to use, it's so fun, our kids can help us, it's not fussy, it's not gonna take a long time. If we have our cleaning supplies really handy under our sink, we're gonna reach for that glass cleaner and we're gonna make our own and it's going to be fantastic. Um, Heather says she prefers hot tea for her natural column, absolutely. I love both, I love with LaCroix, but I also love with hot tea and so this is great because what I do is have this in the kitchen. I do make the water handy, and I've actually mentioned that in my first top 10 essential life hacks of 2016, so you'll have to go and catch up on all that that you might have missed. But I love keeping everything handy, so in my kitchen, on my kitchen counter, I can access all of these beautiful oils. So if I wanted to put a drop of cardamom in my hot tea, I could do that. If I wanted to drop a drop of clove in my hot tea, I could do that. If I wanna put a drop of wild orange in my magnesium mocktail or in Olivia's water cup for school, I can do that. So this is a beautiful hydration station and I plan to put this out at Olivia's birthday party on Saturday so all of our friends can enjoy their alkaline water with essential oils, of course, and it is a choose your own adventure hydration station situation. So I love this so much. Um, I just, I encourage you to check out some oil storage life hacks from Shades of Stone. This is from Shades of Stone on Amazon. You can also go to shareoils.com for some oil storage. Also, amazon.com has tons of things. Um, if you're a husband or you are handy with tools, you can drill some holes that fit for uh, the bottles and you can just take some old scrap wood or pallet wood or anything that you might be able to find and create your own adventurous storage situation. And if you make your own storage setup, I would love to see it. You'll have to tag me on Instagram or Facebook and show me what you're making. Uh, and so then number three is a hydration station to go because just like we have our Franken coat to go, we wanna be enjoying our oil life when we're out of our home because we're not always gonna be at home and we're not always gonna have access to all of that. So let me just grab my oils here. And so what I have here is a little doTERRA keychain. You can get this in your back office for a couple dollars on your next LRP. I definitely encourage you to um, do that. And it comes with drams already, but what I like to do is super duper fun, and I like to make a little hydration station to go. And so we're gonna do this together. Do we have time? Yeah, we'll make time. So this is lemon, and what I like to do is put the little 
cap stickers on the bottom of the little droppers and these just go right in the little sleeves in here and you can put it on your purse, in your diaper bag, in your mom bag, in wherever you might need some hydration because when you're at restaurants, um, you know, if you're drinking plain water, you might wanna jazz it up a little or if you're traveling, you might wanna make sure that you have your oils handy, just you never know what. So these are little droppers and this has lemon in it and then I'm gonna show you how we do this. I'm just gonna do one. This is going to be wild orange. Okay, so you just unscrew the top of your little dropper and you take your bottle of wild orange and all you do is just put however many drops you want. I find um, you don't really need too much because especially if you're just using it on the go, uh, you know, maybe 10 drops or so is good. And so you just want to put some of that wild orange oil into your little dropper and then you've always got your hydration station to go. And we're just going to show few drops in there to show you. But that way, when you're at restaurants, you have a couple drops of wild orange. It's not weighing you down. It's not terribly heavy. If you lose it, it's okay. If you wanna give it away to a friend, it's okay, because there's only maybe 10 or 20 drops in there. Um, and you can do the same thing with lime, slim and sassy, red mandarin, anything that you like. Peppermint, digest zen, if you get um, some tummy troubles when you're out at restaurants. But this has a cool little keychain. You can just clip this to your purse and have your Hydration station to go anywhere you go and kick chemicals to the curb every single day in every possible way. And then we are down to number two. Our number two life hack is from Dr. Laura, my podcast oil boss babe. And this is bringing your own hand soap with you when you are traveling, restaurants, airports, Public places, no to the no to the no. Triclosan, nasty endocrine disrupting chemicals, we're kicking them to the curb, they've gotta go out with the trash, out with the recycling, no thank you. So what we are doing, oh, Lindsay said she sent her hubby to DC this week with a mini dropper of digestant. Well, he's coming to DC, he needs to stop by the chateau. Tell him to make a, make a detour. <laughs> All right, so this is Dr. Laura's fabulous, famous recipe and we are gonna demo it tonight right here. It's super easy and super fast. Now, what you can do is, of course, you can always use doTERRAs. So we use the uh, foaming hand soap in our home in all of our bathrooms. And of course, just like our cleaning supplies, we keep extra backups of the foaming hand soap underneath the sink as well because thank you loyalty rewards program um, hey the eighth graders can come and run around in the backyard if they want to <laughs> but um, we love to have backups thank you to the loyalty rewards program because all of those were free I like to cash in with my points and just get a bunch of staples that we use in our home extra foaming hand soap extra oils that we use for cleaning so we always have the things that we need and so you can always just make this um, half of the hand soap and half water if you want. But if you, for any reason, have any allergies or anything like that um, to any of the ingredients on, in On Guard, like cinnamon or um, eucalyptus or one of the oils maybe isn't your favorite, then you can always choose your own adventure and you can use whatever essential oil that you wanna make. But we're gonna do Dr. Laura's recipe. And so all you're gonna do is take one of these cool little foaming pumpers. You can get these on Amazon. You can also reuse the HD foaming face wash pumpers um, if you love that product, which I do, but I love to make my own even cheaper when it's empty. So all you do is unscrew this little uh, foaming pump top and we've got our container. And what we're gonna do is start with a half a tablespoon of castile soap. This is Dr. Bronner's unscented castile soap. And then we are going to add one half a teaspoon of fractionated coconut oil. And this is just gonna keep your hands nice and soft and it's gonna be fantastic. And then we're gonna add five drops of our On Guard. It is so awesome and I love using these dropper tops for crafts. And we're just gonna add five drops of On Guard. And this is a pet grade plastic. You always wanna use glass or metal when you're doing anything with essential oils, but as long as it's pet grade plastic, it's totally safe to use your essential oils in there. And then all we're gonna do is just fill this with our water. This is just regular filtered water. We're gonna leave a little room for the pump because we don't wanna spill any of our liquid gold. Hopefully I didn't fill it too much, perfect. Actually, we can fill it a little more, a little more, there we go. And this is so cute for purses, for backpacks, especially if you're on a bus with eighth graders and they're germy. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you have all of your germ-fighting thing. 
things on point, okay? And so this is our hand soap from Dr. Laura, and this is amazing. You can put this in your bag. You can make a ton of them. I got a bag of like five or 10 on Amazon for no time at all. Yeah, Dr. Laura's saying she can keep these in a Ziploc snack bag just in case it might um, leak out a little bit if, you, um, if you're traveling, you know, kind of far. But seventh graders for Heather, absolutely. So you will be able to keep your hands clean from the seventh and eighth graders in your life, from the kindergartners, from the, um, the nasty, icky germs from the playground or from the field trips or from public places or the library or anywhere that you go. This is just gonna be so great. So Dr. Laura, thank you as always. No antibacterial soap for us, no triclosan, no endocrine, endocrine disrupting chemicals. They've gotta to go to the curb ASAP. And then the last one, last but not least, is my favorite of all. It is number one, the acrylic organizers for our lifelong vitality vitamins and our probiotic. Hello, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so if you are new to my channel or if you haven't been following me for a while, I've been sharing this for probably about, I don't know, maybe since the summer we did this. And this is a game changer. And this is another one that I owe to Dr. Laura and Leilani. So thank you girls for paving the way for the rest of us. This is amazing, it's amazing. You can get these on Amazon. You might be able to find them at Bed Bath & Beyond, but these are all of our lifelong vitality vitamins and our probiotic. This is the probiotic pixie sticks that we love. Olivia loves them every day, so do we. You can put whatever you want in there. We put the little PB Assist sticker there. For these, we peel off the uh, labels of our lifelong vitality supplements, and we have our, um, them all labeled right here so we know exactly what we have and also it helps me really visually be aware of what I might get low on faster and I can use my points to get these free I can stock up when I need to check my LRP and what's in my order and this is such a great life hack for easy refilling your kids can help you if you know you just need to reach in there and grab your vitamins you can totally do that so this is my number one from the top 10 list of 2017 for oily life hacks. The acrylic organizers for your vitamins. You can do this for any clutter keepers that you might need uh, corralling around your home, but this is so awesome. I have three of these. I have another one that I have my Tri-Ease, my DDR Prime, my On Guard Soft Gels, my Terrazyme, my Zendocrine Detox Complex, also for Olivia's vitamins, the A to Z. Uh, I love this. This is a life-changing thing if you love your doTERRA supplements the way we do. Now, a few little housekeeping items before we end. Um, just like I mentioned earlier, I wanted to show you what we are giving away for Halloween, and I'm actually getting to volunteer at Olivia's school tomorrow to read a story to her class for her birthday. Um, I'm super excited, and it's just like my mommy rite of passage. I have been waiting for this moment for like ever, and I'm super excited about doing that tomorrow morning. And so I get to bring goodie bags for her class, and I love that her school has a no food treats policy. It makes my heart sore because um, it is it is really challenging when you're trying to incorporate a wellness lifestyle and then every single day cupcakes and cookies and birthday treats are coming to the school it's really tough and with allergies and all these different things it's just shenanigans so I love that I can still support her and show her my love and come and bring something special to the school and make that special memory getting to read to her class and make her feel special by having treats to hand out to all of her classmates, um, but also to all of her friends at her birthday party on Saturday. So I made a bunch, I made 50 of these, 25 for school, 25 for her birthday party, and I did this in advance because there's nothing food related, and it was awesome. And this is another way that when you are living a wellness lifestyle, it's just natural that She's gonna get candy from every other house in the neighborhood, so why not give these children another option of having something fun? And your birthday party and the things that you do should be a reflection of you, okay? And so just like that, we try to make Olivia's birthday parties a reflection of us. There will be alkaline water and um, there will be a hydration station for everybody if they want that because that's what we do. So why wouldn't we do that for her birthday? And so likewise, we wanna do something that reflects her and she is so super crafty. She loves arts and crafts of all kinds. So in these goodie bags for her classmates and for her party, and sorry if this is a spoiler, Heather, and for all of you that are coming to Olivia's birthday, sorry this is a spoiler, but just don't tell your kiddos. Um, so we have some Halloween pencils, and seriously, this did not require a trip to the party store. This did not re require getting sucked into the Target Vortex. I didn't leave my house. All of this was from Amazon. So I got some pencils that are fun and Halloween themed, and I've got fun tattoos because Olivia loves tattoos. Let's get that out of her system now, shall we? Uh, and then these really fun little activity books. 
Um, this one says it's a tongue twister and other games. And so they're like little booklets with games and you can color and do little number finds and word finds and they're fun for all kids of all ages. Little connect the dots. These are just so fun and cute. And then let's see what else do we have in these goodie bags. Um, more tattoos and more tattoos and these fun little ducks because you always want to get your ducks in a row and this guy is going to be so fun in the tubby and a little bouncy eyeball Ooh. and stamps. So these are really fun ways to craft with your kiddos. Olivia loves crafts, seriously, like we could craft all day long and she would just be super happy and most of the time we do. So um, this is a great way for you to have options other than candy. And even if you wanna give candy, there's nothing wrong with that and I'm not judging anyone. I'm just simply saying that it's nice to have an offering that is not candy related, especially if children are coming to your home um, to trick or treat that might have allergies. You wanna make sure that they can participate. And likewise, maybe if your children are the ones that have allergies, you can be the one to set that trend in your neighborhood that you can give away peanut free treats or you can have two bags and you can offer kids a choice. Would they like some craft supplies and fun? Things like that or would they like candy? And I guarantee you, well no, I can't guarantee you, but I would think that many times more than you might think, the kids would choose something different because they're already getting candy everywhere else. Why not give them something really fun? And maybe it's a buzzkill, maybe not, I'm sorry, I hope not, because I like to think that we have a lot of fun with the things that we love to do, and that doesn't require candy because there will be birthday cake and there will be lots of other treats to have, um, but we definitely don't wanna overdo it and cause belly aches and all that yucky stuff. So that's what we are giving away for Halloween. So if you're in the neighborhood, come to Chateau Le May and get an awesome goodie bag from us with love. Um, also a couple more housekeeping items before we close and I let you go back to your night. Uh, Tuesday is the last day to snag your three free oils that are part of the October Rocktober sale. So it is Citrus Bliss, Serenity, and Balance. Heather, we cannot wait to see you. I can't wait to see your costumes. I'm so excited. Um, and those three oils are free. So if you are watching my Periscope and you're like, what the heck are these oils? I need them in my house right now. Reach out to me. I'd love to get you started and support you with tools and resources and education and welcome you with open arms into the oil squad. Uh, I would love to share these oils with you. So if you want to reach out and get those, if you're already um, signed up as a discount account holder, you can access your back office and order uh, these anytime that you want with a qualifying order all the way up to Tuesday, which is Halloween and the last day of the month, which also means Wednesday is the first of the month, which means it is going to be amazing because November is BOGO month, which means buy one, get one free. It's it's usually for a week um, around Thanksgiving. And then uh, Holiday Joy and Holiday Peace will be released on November 1st. And they're just like a holiday hug for your soul when you smell these oil blends, it's amazing. And then um, all the holiday catalog limited edition items are gonna be released. So beautiful wooden boxes, the new Lumo diffusers are gonna be available. Uh, there are gonna be so many amazing items and they're gonna go fast. We're gonna break the internet like we do when these things come out. So snag them all up. Um, and always, like I said, reach out to whoever got you started if you have questions or need support with your wellness journey. Um, it is that person's responsibility and joy to share with you and educate you. But, um, but for my oilers, always reach out to me if you have questions. If you do not have any oils yet and you want to get some, reach out to me. I would love to support you as well. And then the most fun news I have to share with you tonight is that next Thursday starts Thankful Thursdays, and it's my second annual three weeks of thankfulness giveaways. So every week leading up to Black Friday, I'm gonna be giving away something free to someone that's watching live or that comments on Instagram on Thursdays, and I'll post everything in the, in the uh, interweb so you won't miss anything. But for the next three weeks, it's my second annual Thankful Thursday, three weeks of thankfulness giveaways on Periscope. Uh, it's gonna be so fun, I'm gonna show you on Periscope what the giveaway is. But Green Air has been amazing and they have sent me eight diffusers to share with you guys. Eight diffusers. So for the next eight weeks, I have one free diffuser and they're all different. So you're gonna love it. I have free diffusers to share with you guys. One lucky winner is gonna win a diffuser every single week 
until the end of the year, until the week of Christmas. I am so grateful to Green Air. I'm so excited. Christian, if you were out there, Pam, if you were out there, thank you so much for being so super generous with all of our followers and everyone that's watching. I hope you will continue to watch. I hope I've entertained you and educated you and made you have a great time. Maybe you laughed at me at least, um, but I'm so excited. So Green Air has given away diffusers to share for you all. So I will be showing you each week on Periscope. I won't reveal which one until you're watching live. So I'll announce the giveaway on Thursday mornings. You'll be able to enter in the comments and all the details will be there. And then one lucky winner will be announced the evening right after I wrap my scope around 10 or 11 p.m. Eastern. The winner will be announced. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I hope you win because I could not wait to see you diffusing these beautiful oils in your home, kicking the candles to the curb, the nastiness out of here. So it's going to be an amazing, abundant holiday season, and it's going to start next Thursday with our first giveaway. So um, and all month long in December, it's going to be holiday inspired uh, things. November and December, we're going to be doing recipes, um, entertaining holiday room sprays gifts and it's just going to be awesome. So we're going to have so many giveaways. We're going to have so much fun. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I hope you stick around for all that fun. So I hope you have a great Halloween um, because the next time I see you, it'll be November. So until next time, have an awesome week. Have a fantastic weekend and keep kicking those chemicals to the curb where they belong. I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.